Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you gotta admit, even if you aren't an avid nature lover or earth lover, that looks good. Yep, it's evening. We are uh, doing a little bit of horsey check. Jeez, I just can't. Anyways, Zeus and I are gonna go cruise around a little bit. It has been a very busy day. Oh, as you can see, a little bit red. Got a haircut. Somebody said on the live stream today that they were jealous because the uh, hairdresser's not open. We've had ours open for a little bit. It's been kind of nice. <laughs> this is off looking for stuff. The vet came today, checked out Ohana. She is looking awesome, in great shape, all that kind of business. Hey, there's a little birdie up there. Look at that, right up top, right there, just hanging out. Yeah, um, teeth work. Teeth work is very interesting. Um, yeah, light float. Hey pal, how are you doing? <laughs> he says, all out buddy, just about, top me up. Yes sir. I'm actually just about to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Nanners, she ran out a little earlier. She'll get a she'll get a little bit more tonight, but she's doing fine, obviously. Uh, I've been answering a few um, questions, and there was one question that came in recently that I thought I would talk about a little bit, and it had to do with how to make a horse feel comfortable picking up their feet. I've done a few videos on this. Hello, Lena. How's it going? Oh, oh I apologize for that. Had to uh, answer a phone call, but I do want to continue on with this idea. Uh, the comments that I was making in regards to um, having horses be comfortable picking up their feet. And it's actually, it's a, surprisingly, the sky has changed just a smidge since we were last together. The clouds are shuffling around and the colors are changing and anyhow, let's get on with our horsey check at the same time. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, horses being comfortable or uncomfortable or, you know, uh, adverse or worried um, about picking up their feet. And the Look at Luke, he's so messy. He's got so much of this hay that's just... Eat your food! Does not care. Not a care in the world. Whatever, buddy. Uh, we do think that um, flax, ground flaxseed is working for uh, to reduce uh, itchiness. So, passing it on. Uh, hopefully it works if you guys find you've got a problem. With a horse, a little bit extra itchy, try some ground flexi each day. Um, anyways, so it's it's quite common. And when I get asked, well, how do you how do you deal with that? It's, it's no different than when I get asked about how I train uh, or work with horses and how I get them to. <laughs> Peggy, you're a statue. Why are you such a statue today? She's usually says. She comes over for scratches now more often. Gracie's doing all right. She's just chowing down on. I'll feed these guys shortly. Waters are filled up. Thanks to David. Thank you, David. Really. Big yawn. <laughs> Whoa, it's getting more and more orange out here. Yeah. So, hi, Ruli. Somebody said a comment that you're her very favorite horse. That's nice. What are you talking to him for? He doesn't have anything to say. Does he? So, um, I'm going to go over and check on Roni. And then we're going to talk a little bit about um, well, how, how it is, how can I communicate sort of Ronnie, are you scratching? 
You definitely have a couple of mosquito bites for sure, Zs. How's it going, buddy? But you look good. Lots of muscles. How's it going, Mr. Muscles? Yeah? You need food? You're not too bad off. You got a little bit left. We'll top you up. It'll be good. Birds are everywhere. Lots of birds. So, um, the idea of, like, the way I consider, sort of, the idea of how to have a horse feel comfortable, uh, it's, it's, there's some methodical things that you can do, but a lot of it, in my, as I think about it more and more, and I try to answer these questions, and I try to give some kind of, you know, reproducible, sciencey kind of answer, <clears throat> but a lot of it actually is how you feel. And uh, you'll hear a lot of people say things like horses or animals or whatever can sense fear. They can sense confidence. They know. I'm gonna. I think I might. I'll get this later. I'm not quite done this. See, just got a few more of these bolts to go in, and uh, damn. The confidence or. Uh, sort of that reassurance, that strength, but it doesn't, it's better if it isn't sort of a bossy or ordering around kind of feel. Um, and I think the best, the best sort of, <laughs> she's distracting. I looked over and I knew she was, I knew you were coming over, Lena. I did. I saw you and I thought, there you are. I put her mane on the other side. I don't know if anybody's noticed. See, most of it is, she's a special kind of white under that thing. Yes, Lena, I know. Look at how big her head is. That thing is huge. Scritchy scratch, scritchy scratch. Everybody's a little itchy at nighttime. Yeah. So, it's stuff like that. Like, it's, it's a feel. But, there are things that you can do that are very quantifiable. And, when it comes to picking up feet, the thing that we need to consider in the horses is that to give up a foot means they have to sort of give up the idea of running without grabbing away their foot first. So, if we think about just any horse, if we take Rue, who looks a little nervous overall at first, but you know, maybe, here, let's, maybe I can give a little demonstration. I don't quite have the right footwear on, which brings me to another subject, because everybody seems to be more noticing my footwear. And, uh, yes, I have bejeweled pink Crocs. Everybody new here, old, older viewers, what is it? I've come to make a demonstration of you. No, Rue, I don't have the right footwear on, but you're going to be good, right? He says, I don't know, just feed me. Okay, I'm going to put you guys down for a second on the ground because it's the best I can do. So, let's see, something like that. So, when, okay, stay here and don't touch the camera. Go, no, back up. Good boy. So when I think about, when I think about picking up his feet, I think about, well, you know, hopefully first I don't have this incredible amount of draw and he wants to be, you know, closer in. Not hopefully, but like, if I was thinking about if it's a problem or so, I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't have that kind of draw. They might sort of check you out. They'd be a lot more worried. Um, but we have to think about that the horse needs these things to run away, to get away. And if it feels like it has any trouble, if it feels like it's going to be needing to escape or run off, it's gonna need all four of these. So what I really want the horse to feel and what really needs to come out uh, is, is to them, it's like, it's okay. Um, if, if they're trying to sort of push you over or bite or kick or anything like that, they're really actually being quite defensive, I feel. And they're very used to sort of needing to do that to be safe. 
but I'll usually tell them there's no reason to do that you're safe with me trust me and that there's a feel but there's some quantifiable objective things we can do and so um, it'd be nice if they would stand still um, I personally feel that it makes horses more nervous to be tied up and it makes them a little bit more worried to be in cross ties I'd like them to be able to communicate to me I'd like to be able to do back and forth that is quantifiable when he comes and checks me out and looks at me I want to be able to say ah, no, I'm good right now rather than be able to tune them out I want to tune them in so hopefully they'll tune me in as well being tied up uh, forces them to tune out a little bit um, but they'd like to tune in because horses are naturally worried sort of suspicious creatures so <laughs> hi Rue yes everybody loves you so you make a great example rawr, rawr. so you know there's there's this 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 is quantifiable an ob objective action that we can do where we can say hey I'd really like for you to be with me I'd like to be able to touch you and scratch you and I'd like you to be able to tell me you've had enough I'd like you to be able to tell me do more do less like if I scratch him here watch I don't know if you'll be able to see this okay I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a camera up there maybe not that high uh, over there okay wait Ru, come over here back come over here right there okay stay here okay so I'm gonna scratch here and he moved back so it means go higher up the withers he's going over there so we're going to do this side more and go way over here there harder 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 that is communication it burns man there's too much friction so that's communication that's objective and quantifiable sort of things that you can do and now I have draw look at that I get a whole horse so when I say to him can I have your foot please right he might say for how long do you need it for you know because I'll already have the draw but it requires that you feel like you want to do something and give ah <laughs> See, now I'm going to kind of ignore him. I'm going to get out of the way. He's not going to understand. He's going to think, why aren't you listening? We'll see if he does it again. Hi, buddy. See, he reaches for my hand. He's looking with his eye. See what he does with his body. Does he need to, there he's looking with his eye again. He's talking, more talking. more talking that's obvious movement so we'll come back over here and scratch because he's told me enough times and believe it or not this leads to much better picking up of feet or training or anything that you're going to do with them You can't do enough of this stuff. You can't do enough of the communicating back and forth. Some might say he's pushy. But what he's really hoping for, I think, is a good communicator. He bumped me with his nose. It means something. He says, can you do it again, please? Thanks. Hello, Rue. I'm all done now. Yeah. I know, I know. Cameras are so interesting. That, I would say, is the start of the journey of giving something, and in essence you're getting something, but to give with good feeling, and good response, and good timing. And uh, that's kind of the premise of what I do. That's the idea, the concept around having horses feel more comfortable with me. Um, and a lot of times when I go to trim or do something with horses, they will 
tell me to do a different foot. So I was working on Ohana today, and I did her front feet, but I could tell she wanted me to do the back right foot. So when I went there, she immediately picked it up. And um, plenty of times that, that happens. But as trimmers or farriers, we'll get into a pattern of starting with, you know, front right, front left, or front right, back right, back left, front left, or whatever. And the horse is saying, can you please do my whatever foot? And the more we listen to that, the safer they feel because they actually feel like you can listen to their yelling sometimes at us. Sometimes they're just whispering. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'm gonna link this video to all the comments that ever ask me, how do I get my horse to feel safe? How do I get them to pick? How do I get them to feel like uh, they're okay to have their feet picked up by me or other people? So I hope, I hope this helps and I'm gonna try to do a second part of this because I think it's a deep subject um, and I really want to be able to teach what this is it's a hard one but there are some objective objective things to do that will make that will make sense so hopefully that helps Ru's a good boy over there <laughs> everybody's good it's a good day today the sun is going down I've got to feed all these guys, or at least top them all up. We've got a beautiful sky. We should have a good day tomorrow, I think. So, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for coming in, and thanks again to all the members. I see it's going up again. You guys are great. I hope the uh, subscription service is paying off. Um, if not, please let me know. If you have any requests, again, please let me know. And, uh, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Check out the live stream from today. That was a good one. Lots of Q&A in there. And, uh, yeah, have a good night.